Hey guys, in this particular video I'm going to be covering the intuition behind curvilinear motion, which really involves an understanding between two different types of coordinate systems. Coordinate systems. One is the very standard XY coordinate system, which I'm sure we're really familiar of by now. But the other one is the NT coordinate system, which we might not be too aware of at the moment. N stands for your normal direction. And T stands for your tangential direction. Right? In order to understand the difference between these two types of coordinate systems, let's just consider this circular hilltop just here. Right? And let's pretend we have, have this block, say, sliding down this circular hilltop, ideally without friction, just to make it simple. If we were to draw a free body diagram on that, we'll have mg downwards, and would have a normal force perpendicular to the path n just here. Now, if we wanted to analyze the motion of this, we could use the xy coordinate system just fine. We could place the coordinate system wherever we liked, let's say just here, x, y, easy. And then we could break n in terms of x and y and add forces, set them equal to ma, no problem. We could do that. But with the nt coordinate system, we've got much less freedom. We have to choose to place the coordinate system on the object, and t is going to be, as you've probably guessed it, tangential to our circular path. Where where n it has to be facing towards the center of your circular path. That's, that's your nt coordinate system just there. Okay. Now the advantage of using the nt coordinate system is not only does it generally simplify your equations a whole lot, but it also is really useful for circular motion. Recall a circular motion formula which we use time and time again is the acceleration vector, so in this case the acceleration of your block, is equal to alpha r, your angular acceleration times your radius, times by et plus v squared on r, en. Right. Notice, and I have covered this in detail in my circular motion video, but I'll quickly re um, revise it. This is your acceleration in your tangential direction. Basically, that's the same thing as saying that your acceleration in your tangential direction is alpha r, right? And notice the, notice the uh, en here, the unit vector en. That means that your acceleration in your normal direction is v squared on r, where v is your speed and r is the radius of your circular path. So that's the advantage of using n and c. It's really, it's really good for circular motion, but it generally simplifies formulas as well. I hope that makes sense, guys. I mean, generally, you don't have a complete understanding until you do a few example problems, so I'm going to be creating a few of those now.